All right, Jason, let's talk about first the draft experience. For you, uh, you became a free agent, but uh, talk to me about draft day. Uh, you know, draft day, it, it, it was pretty funny. I um, was actually hearing a lot of things from different teams about getting drafted in the fifth through the seventh round. And uh, I was hearing a lot from Philadelphia, the Eagles, which was right there. I was there in Philadelphia, so I was really familiar with the organization. And uh, they brought me and one of my buddies from school up, you know, for an in-house visit up there at the NovaCare Center. and. Uh, it's funny, they said they was going to draft him or me. They had called me right before they picked in the seventh round and said, we're going to draft you or your buddy Raheem Brock, who currently plays with Indianapolis Colts. And uh, they ended up drafting him. And then right after that, they signed me as a um, priority free agent. So it, it, was a, it was a good fit for me, um, being familiar with them. That There was a West Coast system back then. And, and I got to be around a lot of guys who really helped me a lot and you know taught me a lot of how to be professional. I think that went a long way in my career. Can you talk to, uh, tell fans, what, what does it feel like on draft day as a college kid watching pick after pick go by? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's nerve-wracking, you know what I mean? You just, after a while, you don't really care what round you get picked in or when you get picked, as long as you get the opportunity and the shot to, to, to try out for an NFL team, you know what I'm saying? It, I, don't, I, don't know, I can't imagine, you know, some guys who go through all that training and don't get a call, even as a free agent. So either way, you get drafted or a free agent, it's a blessing either way. You think there's anything to be said about the fact that guys like you or guys who are picked in the late rounds maybe do work harder to make that team because they know it's a long shot? Um, I would say so. You know, I would say that you definitely have to work a lot harder than somebody that's getting drafted in like the first three rounds um, because, you know, nothing's guaranteed. If you're drafted in the first three rounds, you know, you're more than likely you're going to be on the team and you're getting, you know, a nice signing bonus to help you out along the way. So um, when you're free agent, you know, you get a little signing bonus, but there's no way to compare it to some guys in the first round. So you definitely tend just to work harder, you know what I'm saying, to earn your way. I mean, look at Tom Brady. He was drafted in the sixth round and now he's, uh, you know, future Hall of Fame quarterback. So. I mean, it just goes to show you a testament of guys who get drafted later tend to work harder than the guys who get drafted early. All right, now talk about the, the let's just talk about the two top guys that the Bears took. One on defense, one on offense. First, it's Jerron Gilbert. This kid, he's got a video. You haven't seen it yet. I mean, right. he jumps out of a three-foot pool. Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny, too, because uh, before he got drafted, our running back coach was actually talking about, you know, there's a guy in a draft that jumped out of a swimming pool and jumped right on the ledge, you know, and then it's just coincidence that they, they ended up drafting him. Um, but what I know about him is, uh, you know, he's supposed to be a really a freakish, freakishly athletic. Um, he's supposed to uh, run, I think he ran like a 4'8", something 40, and he's 280 pounds, and uh, they compare him to uh, Israel Adonijay. So um, I know he's a great athlete, and I know it would be um, a great fit, you know, to our defense. Now, uh, Joaquin Iglesias, this is a kid. You guys need a receiver. It's a kid coming out of Oklahoma. Tommy, of course, speaking highly of him. Right. I just, I, you know, I've seen him play a few times, and I know he's really productive at Oklahoma. And um, from what I hear from Tommy, I mean, Tommy speaks highly about him. You know, Tommy says he knows a great receiver, runs great routes, you know, and I think that's that's what we need in our offense, you know, having um, just got Jay Cutler and um, having a solid quarterback and then bringing a guy like, you know, Joaquin Iglesias to come in and help run the men's side routes. I think that opened up, you know, a lot of different things for a lot of different guys on offense. All right. Now, you're, you're dressed. You just had practice. This is the post look, the post workout look. Yeah. All right. How did Jay Cutler throw? What, what's it like to catch his passes? Oh, he can throw, man. He's definitely got a lot of zip on the ball. I mean, it gets there quick, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you turn around, how do you route the balls there? And then when you watch him throw it, the ball comes out real fast, and you can you can hear the zip on the ball when he releases it. He's got a quick release. Uh, he's really smart, you know. He knows how to make all the reads. He's making all his hots already. It's almost like he's been in the offense for years, and he's just really gotten here. So. I'm definitely excited to um, have him on our team, and I'm more excited to see what he's going to do during the season. You know, guys used to say it used to hurt to catch Brett Favre's passes. Uh, uh, cold day at, at Soldier. Are your fingers going to be hurt when that thing comes oh, in? He's, he's hurt a few people already. He's, he's burnt a few chests. He actually hit me in the side today. I called a flat route, and he kind of drilled me in the side. But, you know, I'll take that. He's getting the ball there fast, and he's getting the ball out quick, and I, a lot of guys are excited to have him.